Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. Last time, we finally made our way through the House de Hexi in search of Ineska. And when we came upon its master, Etrius, uh, who was apparently fighting, like away fighting against uh, the uh, Tsumitsi, he basically said like Ineska's not here, uh, he was given to the Tsumitsi. And Eric, uh, our vampire friend, kept on running his mouth, and Atreus was like, I can see that the Tremere had captured you and tried to make you into a gargoyle. I can see, like, the spell upon you. It's not finished. Because you've been wagging your tongue a little too much, allow me to, like, to finish it. And he cast a spell on Eric, turned him into a gargoyle, and we had to, we had to fight him and kill him, unfortunately. It, you have to do it. Etrius managed to slip away again, letting us know that Mitzi have Aneska. And as we made our way back to Prague and spoke with Ekaterina, we saw that the town was uh, the the city is under siege. Basically, this there's there's a war going on. And speaking with Ekaterina, she's like, "Yeah, the the war started. The prince of Prague is dead. Thank fucking God." That, that guy, uh, it's a meat see oh, Fuck off. I would have killed him myself if I could. He's gone, and the, the people of Prague are made aware that the inhabitants of the castle are actually vampires, and have, you know, taken over with pitchforks and torches and shit. But we mentioned to a Katarina that Aneska's in there. And she's like, look, I'm telling you, I don't know what your fatuation is with that girl. You've grown stronger, no doubt, but that place is a fucking tomb. Like, there's no way she's alive. And if you go, you will die yourself. He's like, well, I'm already dead, so... You know, mic drop. And that's where we stopped last time. So load... And, okay, before we go uh, to this rock castle, which I believe is this way, we need to make a stop at Unorna to, um... Oh! Never mind. Uh, we can't go to Unorna. You know what? Let me make a quick trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> to my haven and put away the scrolls. Okay, let's head back out. On to Visarad Castle. Um, I'm wondering if I should have Serena drink some blood. Eh, you know what? Castle will be full of vampires anyway, so she can she can drink some blood there. Good people of Frog! For too many years we have trembled in the shadow of this hell-hated mountain. Let us wage bloody war upon these fiends. I pray that our righteous fires burn this wicked castle to the roots and cleanse the land of all evildoers! I mean, you didn't have fire on your torch. I mean, you do now. You didn't then. But, you know, I, I feel you, man. I got you. I, I, I got you. Oh, okay. And so we begin. Let's loose thy wrath. Actually, stand thy ground. To the abyss. To the abyss. Now may draw more blood from me. 
Yay, Scroll of Awaken. So glad we got one of those. Okay, so it looks like it's a dead end up here. Um, can't go through there. Let me check out this side first. Council Proclamation. Most esteemed and mighty Voivod Vukadak, Gurd of the Carpathians, Smiter of Sorrow of Moldavia, Slayer of Lupines, all here assembled do profess great esteem for the cruel and terrible proficiency with which thou dost dispatch the affairs of thy Carpathian holdings. In respect and honor, thou art commanded to present thyself to the Council of Voyavodes one fortnight hence, at the time of the full moon, to answer for certain acts whose influence doth precurse fierce events which augur doom to all Tsimitsi. Voivod Erdo, Viceroy, Council of Voivods, Master of the Hellhounds, Sculptor of the Flesh of Thousands. Wasn't Vigo from Ghostbusters 2 also, also a Carpathian? Maybe Vigo was a vampire. Who knew? The scourge of Carpathia, the sorrow of Moldavia commands you. Okay, this place seems easier than like the last like four places that we've gone. Like, even against the Tremere. Tremere was like annoying assholes. These guys are dying like three hits. Where is she? Where is Anezka? Did Kristoff kill him? Oh, they know me. Kristoff, the murderer of Afra. Kristoff, the butcher of countless primacies. Kristoff, ravager of the impenetrable Tremere fortress. Perhaps we should flee. I see my reputation precedes me. He's only a fledgling. Kill him. Come, fools. Thy final death awaits. Um, I... I would like to point out that you may think I'm a fledgling, but my character sheet actually says I'm an elder. Uh, see? Right there. Elder. No. Hey, man. That, that's what it says. I'm an elder. I mean, by all route, by all rights, by all accounts, they're absolutely right. I I am indeed a fledgling. I've only been awake less than a week, or awake. I've only been turned less than a week. But hey, 
incredible how much experience you can get in that in that amount of time. So much blood and viscera. Are those werewolves? Be they werewolves? Oh, this just brought me across. Are we actually gonna fight werewolves? No, these guys, there's no way we'd there be werewolves here. There's no way werewolves and vampires work together. Just wolves. I'm sorry, pup. You know, these guys seem kind of out of place here. You know, for a clan that can mold flesh however they want it, seeing just regular wolves seems, again, out of place. Oh, where did you come from? Oh, under here. Did I miss one? Proclamation of Boyavod Erdo, Viceroy, Council of Boyavods, Master of the Hellhounds, Sculptor of the Flesh of Thousands. Be it known to all Boyavods that Boyavod Vukodak, Scourge of the Carpathians, have refused our most solemn and lawful petition to cease his mad scheme. Even in the face of the opposition of the Council, the Voyavots cannot approve the waxing visibility of his acts, for in proclaiming his mad ambition to grow in stature to rival the ancient Canaanites, he hath drawn much unwanted attention from the other clans and other powerful and jealous forces who even now meddle in our affairs. Therefore, it is my great duty to propose that the Council attack the wayward Boyavod, destroy him utterly, and seize his extensive holdings for dispersal among the remaining Boyavods in payment for our great exertions in disposing of him. I await ratification by Council. Boyavod Dodo. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, I, I have no idea what a Boyavod is. First I've heard of it. Guys, like, did I miss one of the sheets? Because it, it jumped from one to three. It did. It's right there. Exalted Council of Voivodes. Lords of Clan Simitsi, most grave charges put to Voyavod Vukadak, scourge of the Carpathians. Thou art called to answer. Hast thou, Voyavod Vukadak, issued the blasphemous decree that thou art performing conjurations crafted to usurp the mantle of our grandsires? So this Vukadak is looking to usurp the throne, which. Yeah. That's his prerogative, I guess. doing all the way here, bro? Oh! 
god we actually had this. I am weak with lack of precious blood. Save. It's nice and quiet here. Um, enter Viscera Castle 3. I'm guessing it's locked or something, though. No. Attend me. Return to me. Stand thy ground. Attend me. Attend me. Find the foe. <gasps> Could have gone a lot better. It also have gone a lot worse. Ugh. He's got the footsteps. Council Proclamation 4. From the annals of Voyevold oh Ardo. Why does it always have to be an essay? Of master of the Hellhound, yeah, yeah, yeah. Master Sculptor of Revenger. Of yeah, yeah. Revenger of Wayward Voyevolds. Let it be known to all present that the Council of Voyevolds have issued the following decree unto all lords of the Tanitsi. Voyevold Vukodlak hath committed acts of grave offense against clan elders, who here gather to address the misdeeds of the renegade ruler. Vukodlak hath refused to cease his mad scheme, even in the face of the indignant opposition of the Council. Thus it is agreed by all here assembled that his domain shall be stripped and divided among the remaining voyabots. Yet with deference to those voyabots who correctly point out the considerable risks of outright warfare, the council shall blight Vukadlak with a mighty conjuration that shall plunge the disloyal voyabot into a grievous torpor that shall last twenty centuries. Perhaps in that time he shall learn humility. Thus he hath sealed his own fate, well ratified by our law and heraldry. You know, considering how fairly evil the Zamitsi are, even by vampire standards, I'm surprised how much red tape they need to go through to do something like this. Um... And even then, like, they're not even outright killing him. They're going to put him into a grievous torpor that shall last 2,000 years. Like, why? Why not just kill him? I mean, all you're doing is just causing a problem for future generations. Oh, 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 oh,
of destruction. Kristoff. No. Oh my god, Kristoff. <sighs> Scroll of potents. Sorry, Wolfie. Attack me first. Gold bullion. The Busa report. The gold ring. I'm pretty full, eh? To the master who holdeth my soul. I still feel thy pull across the depths to your realm of sleep, and thus am ever faithful. Such of the children, revenants and ghouls as survived the raid of the Council of Voivods have kept thy slumbering form safe, until such time as we can call thee forth. Until then, I shall keep accurate account of thy affairs in the waking world. Libusa, the defile. Libusa. To the master who holdeth my soul. We miserable exiles have known only the road and brief shelter among the frightened mortals of the Carpathians. There is no safety for us here. We must reach Bohemia, in the newly established township called Prague. We may at long last have ranged beyond the reach of the hated council. And then we may begin the measureless task of breaking the vile sorcery that locks thy lofty presence away from us. Then. Let the world shudder at thy resurrection. Lebusa, the defiled. So wait, has Vukudlak already been in torpor? Has he already been put in uh, in this torpor state? And Lebusa's trying to reawaken him? Is that what I'm understanding here? Sands of destruction. Max humanity, minimum intel. Max humanity is sixty, and minimum intelligence twenty-five. I can't use this. What's our? Let's loose thy wrath. We have eighty humanity. That Tsumitsi grabbed the other Tsumitsi for blood? That's so funny. Scroll of fireballs, scroll of blood healing, and leave a for three. Is that another book? No, it's not. Scroll of Awaken. Let's kill this asshole first. Uh, 
to the master who holdeth my soul. Prague hath proved a most hospitable haven. Our work proceeds apace, and thy children to embrace many of the herd, to swell our ranks. Though the embraced are, perhaps, not of the finest stock, as were the children thou didst choose, one must not condemn the teeth of the mare one has stolen. If they have embraced a bumpkin, well, then we have one more bumpkin that may defile innocence and hasten thy dread resurrection. Whereupon the world will quake in dread, and mortal, voivode, and antediluvian alike shall fall naked and helpless before thy wrath. Yibusa, the defile. Ibusa's kind of out of her mind, isn't she? Oh no, a slakta and a fucking ghoul rat. It's okay, Wilhelm. We're, we're okay. Poisoned. Here. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, we read Labusa Report 3. Oh, hi, buddy. Let loose thy wrath. my soul. What offense have I committed, O dread lord, that thou wouldst raise up to my station a newcomer? Dost thou disdain my growing lunacy? Tis but a momentary midday madness that strikes when thy commands ebb. Yet my faculties return with the shades of night. 
What charms hath this novice, that she should rifle my station within thy dark domain? Her defilement is not even complete. I fear any trust in her is misplaced. I trust her not, and would end her life ere she causes some mischief. Lebusa. The defiled. I really hope they're not talking about who they're who I think they're talking about. There's an area down here we missed. <sighs> oh, this just made a circle. the other side. Well, I guess we could have gone down any time we wanted to. Shit. Slot does guarding this area. Close, guys. Oh, and now there's fire again. Uh... Okay, and I think that'll do it for this episode. Uh, we'll most likely come across the the head, the elder of the castle, and we'll see what happens to Aneska. Although, from that last letter, it didn't sound anything good. But, we'll see what what uh, what has happened, what has transpired here. <laughs> in the meantime, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. <laughs>